Good morning to all of you who have joined me for this time of morning prayer on Thursday. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications in your faithfulness. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living is righteous before you. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. Therefore my spirit faints within me, my heart within me is appalled. I remember the days of old, I think about all your deeds, I meditate on the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord, for my spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your steadfast love in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Teach me the way that I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Save me, O Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to your refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your spirit lead me on a level path. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. In your steadfast love, cut off my enemies and destroy my adversaries. For I am your servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Old Testament reading today is taken from the first book of Samuel, chapter 8. When Samuel became old, he made his sons judges over Israel. The name of his firstborn son was Joel, and the second Abijah, and they were judges in Beersheba. Yet his sons did not follow in his ways, but rather turned aside after gain, for they took bribes and perverted justice. Then all the elders of Israel gathered together and came to Samuel at Ramah, and they said to him, You are old, and your sons do not follow in your ways. Appoint for us then a king to govern us like other nations. But this displeased Samuel when when they said, Give us a king to govern us. So Samuel prayed to the Lord. And the Lord said to Samuel, Listen to the voice of the people in all that they say to you. For they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me from being king over them. Just as they have done to me from the day I brought them out of Egypt to this day, forsaking me and serving other gods, so also they are doing to you. Now then listen to their voice. You shall solemnly warn them and show them the ways of the king who shall reign over them. So Samuel reported all the words of the Lord to the people who were asking for a king. He said, these will be the ways of the king who will reign over you. He will take your sons and appoint them to his chariots and to his horsemen and will run before his chariots. And he will appoint for himself commanders of thousands and commanders of fifties and some to plough his ground and to reap his harvest and to make his implements of war and the equipment of his chariots. He will take your daughters to be perfumers and cooks and bakers. He will take the best of your fields and vineyards and olive orchards and give them to his courtiers. He will take one-tenth of your grain and of your vineyards and give it to his officers and his courtiers. 
He will take your male and female slaves and the best of your cattle and donkeys and put them to his work. He will take one tenth of your flocks and you shall be his slaves. And in that day you will cry out because of your king, whom you have chosen for yourselves. But the Lord will not answer you in that day. But the people refused to listen to the voice of Samuel, and they said, No, we are determined to have a king over us, so that we also may be like other nations, and that our king may govern us and go out before us and fight our battles. When Samuel had heard all the words of the people, he repeated them in the ears of the Lord. The Lord said to Samuel, listen to their voice and set a king over them. Samuel then said to the people of Israel, each of you go to your home. Thus says the Lord who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord, and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 21, beginning at verse 29. Then Jesus told a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is already near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. For truly I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Be on your guard so that your hearts are not weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and with the worries of this life, and that the day does not catch you unexpectedly. For it will come upon all who live on the face of the whole earth like a trap. Be alert at all times, praying that you may have the strength to escape all these things that will take place and to stand before the Son of Man. Every day he was teaching in the temple, and at night he would go out and spend the night on the Mount of Olives, as it was called. And all the people would get up early in the morning to listen to him in the temple. We say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So let us pray. Gracious.
Gracious God, we pray for peace, for justice and for reconciliation throughout the world. We pray for the renewal of your church in faith and love and service. We pray for our bishops, Christopher and Jonathan, and for the life of this parish. We pray also for the parishes and communities of those who are praying with us this morning. We thank you, Lord, for your word, for the grace of your sacraments and the fellowship of your people. We pray for our local communities and for their daily life and work. We pray for the young and the elderly. We pray for families and those who are on their own. We pray for those who are in need, for those who are sick, sorrowful and bereaved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Father, that you would awaken your church throughout the world to see in all the tensions and unrest of these times the cross of Christ as the one way of peace. And let the living spirit of the Lord so move among people everywhere that there may be a revival of our faith, by which of old the lost have been saved, captives set free, and hearts changed. Lord, your matchless power is ever new and ever young. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon your church, that with renewed faith, vision, and obedience, we may joyfully testify to your new creation in Christ and selflessly serve your new order amidst the old for the glory of our Lord and Saviour. Guide and direct, Lord, the minds of all who work for the reshaping of your church in our time. Renew our energies and our love and revive your people to new life and power. Grant us, Lord, the faith of your apostles, the hope of your martyrs, and the love of our Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so, Lord Jesus Christ, be near to defend us, within us to refresh us, around us to preserve us, before us to guide us, and above us to bless us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do enjoy your day and for those of you watching who live in Sandersted, There is a service of Holy Communion here at St. Mary's at 12 noon.